Hello everyone, and welcome to my Coronation Street official. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Tony Maudsley, a Coronation Street star, discusses George and Todd's startling revelation. Star of Coronation Street Tony Maudsley has teased a major conundrum that George Shuttleworth, his character, would face in the upcoming episodes. When a never-before-seen copy of George's late father Archie's will turns up at the funeral home, George will be shocked. Todd Grimshaw, George's business partner, becomes interested when George decides to draft his own will at the start of the narrative. When Todd peeks at George's will and sees that he intends to leave him the business, he is happy. But when Todd eventually finds Archie's will, it specifies that Glenda, George's sister, was to get 50% of the undertaker's revenue in 2018. George is concerned that he may have unintentionally tricked his sibling out of her inheritance because this hasn't happened. Regarding the forthcoming episodes, Tony clarified, saying, George is a really kind man. He aspires to act morally. He has been dating Eileen for four years. After raising Todd for four years, he wants to make sure that they will both be taken care of in the event of his death. He thus gives them a signal that they will be taken care of. That's not enough for Todd, though, because he's Todd. He starts prying. He goes through George's belongings in the Shuttleworth office to discover exactly what George is leaving him. This will then show up. There is a will hidden at the back of a file that none of us are aware of. And this would very plainly show that half of everything should have been left to Glenda. What do we do with that information is the question that follows. The date is smeared, so we're not sure if it was Archie's final will and testament. Therefore, we are unsure if he completed this will and passed away before sending it to the attorneys. Everyone is in a bit of a conundrum. If Glenda receives half of what Todd anticipated, he will suffer a significant loss, so it is not in his best interests. Ultimately, though, it's Eileen's common sense that resolves the issue before she departs for Thailand to visit Jason, who has a broken back. She says, I want this sorted now, and she tells George that Todd has found this will, probably to appeal to George's better nature, knowing that George will want to do the right thing. Tony disclosed that George is hesitant to bring Glenda into the company after all this time. He declared, George is lovingly guarding his younger sister to half of his capacity. He is only partially preserving his father's legacy, which he has painstakingly maintained and carried on since Archie's passing. He finds himself caught between not wanting to give his sister too little and giving her too much of a business that, if she gets her hands on it, she will drop to the bottom in five seconds. He wants the best for his sister and isn't about to screw her over, but he also knows that Glenda isn't the brightest person in the room and that if she gets her hands on money, she'll blow it on something and put the company and George in early grave. When he asks Glenda what she would do with the money, she naturally says, I'm going to spend it all on little big shots. Walking around the community center, singing, dancing, and chasing spaceships. Tony talked about how these financial revelations would eventually cause friction between the siblings. He remarked, we all know that money has an odd effect on individuals. She will probably just stick her hand out and wait for a huge fat check at first, in my opinion. George will be wondering what will become of her if she had all this money to play with while he considers his own well-being, the labor he's put into the firm, and Glenda's welfare. He's giving it serious thought. Thus, I'm not convinced Glenda will immediately receive what she wants. There is going to be some fighting there. Additionally, she is in a situation where her finances are limited. She is leasing a little room from Jenny across the bar. Thus, even though Glenda is happy, her life isn't all that fantastic. It might be more ideal. There might not be a way out if she has these pound signs in her eyes. From George's perspective, I believe it was always strange that their father didn't leave Glenda much. Glenda has always been into singing songs and high kicking on the high seas, so I guess he understood why. She's always been little Miss Showbiz, she was never a responsible child. She was unable to even give her pets the care they needed. When a pet died, she would either get a new one or wait for a new trend to start before declaring her desire for a terrapin. Similar things. George is aware of her lack of responsibility. He merely needs to proceed with extreme caution. Furthermore, George will undoubtedly desire what's best for everyone since he is George. Big break. 
Soap Boss reveals the resolution to a major story. The long-running narrative surrounding Lauren Bolton's disappearance appears to have received a significant plot update, according to one of Corey's creators. Even while the mystery is being kept under wraps, teasers for Coronation Street indicate that the young character will have a terrifying plot. Fans are speculating a lot in the interim, particularly over Nathan Curtis' potential comeback. Scroll down to find out everything. Spoilers for Coronation Street, the creator reveals the shocking conclusion of Lauren Bolton's story. According to Coronation Street spoilers, John Whiston, managing director of continuing drama at ITV, may have disclosed a long-running plot. The head of the soap opera reveals a startling detail regarding Lauren Bolton's unexplained disappearance. It's no secret that fans have been captivated by Lauren's case for a considerable amount of time. Furthermore, we now know how it will conclude. In response to criticism over the caliber of the soap opera, Whiston speculates that Lauren might be a grooming victim. According to him, Coronation Street is, and always has been, a mixture of earthy humor, stories that matter, like the current storylines about Liam's bullying or Lauren's grooming. Spoilers for Coronation Street remind us that up until now, fan theories have revolved around Lauren's older lover and her Ovid's account. However, we now possess yet another crucial hint. The plot is undoubtedly made darker and more intense by this grooming trap. When will it be made public, though? In addition, fans are speculating wildly over the reappearance of the antagonist Nathan Curtis. Spoilers for Coronation Street hint to his role in Lauren's disappearance. It is important for viewers to keep in mind that Nathan played a part in the plot of Bethany Platt's grooming. In 2017, he used drugs and booze to entice her in before abusing her horribly. Luckily, her assailants were put in jail. However, Nathan is no longer incarcerated. Many people on social media think that he might be the unidentified killer or abduction of Lauren. I think he's holding Lauren hostage, a supporter shouts. An insider claims that recollections of the grooming plot will resurface with Nathan's reappearance. Spoilers for Coronation Street claim that this plot was among the most important in the soap opera, therefore bringing it back will benefit the program. It's a risk, but it's one that producers hope will pay off, the close source says. How do you feel? Is Nathan truly in charge of the teenager's grooming? Or is it someone who is really absurd? Tell us in the space provided for comments. For more coronation spoilers and information, return often to TV season and spoilers. Join us as we unravel the mysteries, confront the unexpected, and delve deep into the hearts and minds of our characters in this pulse-pounding episode. Subscribe now to stay one step ahead and uncover the truth behind Alex's demise, Kristen's unleashed fury, Brady's shocking revelation, and Teresa's mysterious message. Don't miss out on the twists and turns that will keep you guessing until the very end.